Listen very carefully and follow my instructions. Prepare your brain for the Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast. I gotta tell you, being an entrepreneur, I will not go through the rest of my career without taking nootropics. Aniracetam, paracetam, modafinil, nupet, uridine monophosphate. I mean, phenylparacetam, forget it. You could always have a better brain. The Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast is about to begin. Episode number 56 of the Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast. I am your host, Ryan Michael Bell. This is going to be called Formulating a Perfect Nootropic Stack. There's uh, six major things I want to talk about, well, really five major things I want to talk about that I've come to learn over just about a decade taking nootropics. It is the basis for the framework. I mean, it's a framework of advice that we give to uh, Fortune 500 people that we consult on uh, that take nootropics that need to get the edge because they're you know the CEO of a major company or the whatever of a significant company where they've got a lot of workload and they've got particular targets that they've got to hit to uh, you know to the 56 year old like mother or father of four you know in Australia or Spain or America that just needs our help in uh, you know on improving brain performance you know a lot of the advice is similar just tailored to that specific person's output and kind of what they do there are principles and there are ways of going about putting a stack together for you that are generally applicable to most folks getting into nootropics, being in nootropics, sustainably taking nootropics, taking nootropics over the long term. And I want to explain them to you so that uh, so that other folks can have an idea, so that folks coming in can have an idea of how to truly go about taking nootropics. I got to tell you something. Uh, I've been in this game for a long time, been taking nootropics for quite some time. I have witnessed uh, what seems to be sort of a, an unintentioned blind negligence from the brains and from the minds and from the mouths of the people giving advice about nootropics. Essentially, folks don't give advice. There is no methodology. There's no conservative approach to, to taking nootropics. It's just, all right, here, take some aniracetam, and if you don't respond well to it, well, I don't know. I mean, who knows? Here, take some modafinil and take it every day, and don't worry about you know anything. And so uh, all of that is... Uh, Again, perhaps unintentioned, but that, that, that's all sort of negligent stuff. It's not good advice. There is no advice about how to take nootropics. You got the subreddit, nootropic subreddit. You got a couple Facebook forums. You got people saying different stuff back and forth to each other. It, it's just, it's just basically a cluster, you know what of nootropic stuff. But guess what? There is a way to formulate a perfect nootropic stack, right? There is a way to truly use a particular methodology to make great stacks that really work well and turn on brain function. And I'm going to explain it to you in this podcast. It is the basis for, and this would be a perfect time to kind of segue into Product Pro for a minute, for the nootropic stacks for the business professional, right? All the 100 nootropic stacks in that digital guide. It's a digital guide. Buy it at livecortex.com right now. It's 20% off. It is the basis for the information in Smarter, Better, Faster, which is the, uh, and it's a digital downloadable guide, which is the sort of modern book for all nootropics, modafinil, caffeine, theanine, tyrosine, theocrine, you know, some of the racetams, alcar, uridine, triacetyluridine, everything else in between, very many stacks, very many distinctions in that digital guide. It is the basis for the formulation of the many powerful stacks in the new Pept Pro stack list, another digital guide, all new Pept stacks. It's the basis for all the stacks in the Racetam God Guide. There's 80 or so Racetam stacks, all the major Racetams, very well put together in the methodology that I'm going to explain in this uh, podcast. And then also, it is the basis for the stacks laid out in the Beginner's Guide to Anaracetam, another digital guide downloadable 20% off right now. Uh, and frankly, it was the basis for how we formulated the Cortex stack. It's a very, Cortex is a very simple stack. That's our pre-made stack. Get it at livecortex.com. Turns on every facet of brain function. No BS, powerful, powerful nootropic compound, expert level compounds put together in a very synergistic way, but it's a simple stack. There's only four ingredients in Cortex. That's uridine monophosphate, CDP choline, artichoke extract, and bacopa monnieri. Put together in a very specific way, right, with a lot of testing, basically years of trying to figure out the right dose of all those different compounds to make a great, stack get cortex at livecortex.com right now 27 bucks for the mighty cortex uh that's the end of product pro oh we got two more things yeah we do consulting on nootropics <laughs> it, with this kind of stuff it's a 40 minute call with me 15 additional email correspondences and then uh, uh we also do a chronic fatigue syndrome uh consult i had cfs years ago i figured out how to beat it i can help other people beat it okay get all that stuff at livecortex.com right now 20 percent off the digital guides and cortex okay so number one The primary principles, okay? The primary principles. The primary principles of formulating a good stack, 
a great nootropic stack, basically a perfect nootropic stack, are the following. Uh, number one, you want to start with a, a base, and the base of that stack is kind of the primary functional component. So, And it, it normally is higher dose than everything else. In fact, it's the only compound in the stack that's really high dosed. And that, that really is, you know, so like you have to look at, am, am I really needing just a lot of working memory with some background hints of energy and speed of processing and verbal fluency? Okay, then maybe something working memory centric should be my base. And in that case, you know, you could pick something like Nupept, PRL853, or Anaracetam, all very exceptional for working memory, right? So you have that as a base. Uh, in the case of Nupept, you dose it at a regular dose, regular dose. If, you know, you respond to regular dose, new pep, which most, most folks do. There's a small percentage of people that microdose, and that's that's separate. Uh, so you take new pep, and you dose it at 13 milligrams, okay? That's our new pep. The other part of the, the, the major uh, principle, the other principle, you know, part of the major sort of idea of the principle, the general overarching principle of how to formulate a good nootropic stack is when you've got your base and you have it dosed at a regular dose, then what you do thereafter to put a stack together is you basically just bring in low to medium dose synergistic additional compounds. They're sort of complementary compounds, but they're not in high doses. Okay, people make this mistake of, of going, you know, 13 milligrams Nupep, 1,000 milligrams Aniracetam, 1,000 milligrams Oxiracetam, 4 grams Pracetam, all too high. We're going to get to overage in a second. Okay, you want a medium to low dose the rest of that. So a synergistic compound with Nupep, you got Nupep to 13 milligrams, uh, would be, let's look at the first cofactor. The cofactor would be choline for a lot of people. They're going to require a choline source or it will allow Nupept to function better because Nupept increases and improves the cholinergic system and might use burn up a little more acetylcholine in the brain. So alpha-GPC, CDP-choline, or choline by tartrate. Now, in this case, you know, this is one of the things that we've always uh, been clear on and I've always uh, tried to tell folks. Uh, you want to low dose that choline source. You want to go between 50 and 150 milligrams if it's CDP, choline, or alpha GPC. Most folks are going to find themselves good on the lower end of that if they want to take it sustainably because these things have long half lives and they're very bioavailable. So if you take them in higher doses, the choline sources, and you keep taking them, you're going to run into brain fog eventually because it's too much acetylcholine for the brain to deal with. You know, a lot of folks don't need more acetylcholine. They just need optimizations of the system, the cholinergic system, cholinergic signaling. That's one of the things that goes awry when you get Alzheimer's disease is cholinergic functioning in the brain. And then so that's your choline source. So go with 50 milligrams alpha GPC or 100 milligrams alpha GPC or 50 milligrams CDP choline or 150 milligrams CDP choline, whatever you pick. All right. Uh, then you want to look at, okay, so you've got the memory and you, you got the new pep and you got the choline source. You got your, your memory stuff kind of squared away there. The primary thing that you want to do with this stack. So let's add some, some mental energy things. Let's add some hints of extra stuff to get you some good brain performance as a result. But, you know, but, but not let's bring in a whole bunch of other compounds that are like bases in and of themselves and should be taken in high doses if they're going to be a base and or separately or something. Okay, so let's bring in the mighty theocrine. Theocrine, perfect example of exactly what we're trying to say. Theocrine is a largely adenosine receptor modulating, just like caffeine, nootropic compound that's energy producing. Uh, and so you want to bring some theocrine in there. You don't want to go super high on the theocrine. Uh, you don't want to go super low on the theocrine. You just want a nice low to medium dose. Okay, so the dose range on theocrine is 20 to 200 milligrams, and I would say in this stack, shoot for something like 75. So now we've got 13 milligrams new pept, well, 100 milligrams alpha GPC for the sake of just picking one of those, and then 75 milligrams of theocrine. Okay, we haven't high dosed on that theocrine. We're kind of just where we need to be, uh, and you know that, that that's basically it. Uh, if we want to bring some other for some other compounds into the mix, we can. And look, we could even bring some other racetams in the mix. But the trick is lower dosing them. Okay, so if you want, as an example, to try to induce some degree of calmness which isn't uh, you know just sort of doesn't make it so that you can't focus because you're too calm, but makes it so that you're not too sped up and it adds a nice balance for you to sit down and concentrate, well, then you might want to bring in something like Fasoracetam, which over time modulates GABA receptors and provides a good solid calmness in, you know, as part of its mechanism of action. So instead of taking 20 or 30 milligrams of Fasoracetam, which you could by itself, I would bring in something like 5, you know, 5 milligrams Fasoracetam. So now we got Nupep to 13 milligrams. You got GPC at 100 milligrams. You got Theocrine at 75 milligrams. 
Uh, and then we have fasoracetam at five milligrams, okay? Very low dose, just a synergistic addition, just a bump above baseline. Obviously, the main overarching point is we're being very conservative. We're regular dosing the base, and then we're low to medium dosing everything else. Now, we could still get creative. Do you want to add something that might bring in an additional benefit. Is there a reason to bring an additional benefit? Well, sure, there could be. In this case, you want to bring in, as an example, there's many examples, but let's just bring in a B complex, right? You need various Bs to synthesize neurotransmitters. They all work together, you know, to uh, to facilitate regular brain function and to regulate neurotransmitters. So add in a B complex, you know, get at the very least the RDA for the important stuff. That's B9, B12, you know, get uh, B5, B6 in there. Um, and you know the rest of the bees. Okay, so it's, now you got a bee complex that's added into the stack. Uh, do we want to bring something else in that that might be able to bring an additional benefit to the stack? Sure, sure. These long stacks are not a problem so long as you're applying this type of methodology. So let's think about vinpositine. Vinpositine is an incredible compound that I have found stacks very well with racetam stacks very well with a lot of compounds, and by putting it in a relatively low dose five to 15 milligrams. That's kind of like the regular dose, but it's a good solid dose for vinpositine, even in conjunction with all these other nootropic compounds. It, it improves blood oxygen or brain oxygen and uh, brain blood flow, right? Critically important things, especially when you're dealing with a whole bunch of different other compounds that are working on the brain. You want to give the brain more blood and more oxygen to work with. So let's just say we add in five milligrams of vinpositine. All right. Uh, so do is that enough? Is that enough for us? If it is, cool, that's it. We can call it, and that's a perfect stack. That right there could be an exceptionally great stack for someone. 13 milligrams, new pep, 100 milligrams, GPC, 75 milligrams, theocrine, 5 milligrams, fasoracetam, 5 milligrams, from positine. You see how that stack's put together? What that stack is not is 700 milligrams anaracetam, 2 grams paracetam, a gram of oxiracetam, 20 milligrams fasoracetam, 10 milligrams coloracetam, you know, 375 milligrams alpha GPC, uh, 400 milligrams DMAE, okay? That stack right there that I just gave you would probably do the following things. You might feel exceptionally good on day one and two. Day three and four, it's probably going to be a disaster. Way too much choline, way too much confliction, way too high doses on everything, okay? The brain's eventually going to start start freaking out and try to uh, do whatever, right? It's just going to make your brain feel, you might feel tired, you might feel foggy, you're not going to be, you know, be able to concentrate. You have to understand that it really needs to be a conservative balance, a conservative balance when putting nootropic compounds together. You don't want an odd stimulatory, like almost amphetamine-like outcome, in you know which which will eventually just sort of start to fade away and turn into side effects because that's what you're going to get with that 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 overage stuff. Overage equals disaster. Okay, remember overage equals disaster. And the the other major important thing to take away is balance is king. Balance is king. Having a balance of of compounds like we put together in that new pep stack, man, that's a killer stack right there. And the greatest part of it is you you know you can take it relatively consistently without running into problems. You know, it becomes more sustainable. The next point I want to make is you are not uncool with lower doses of nootropics. You're not uncool. There's a stigma, it seems like, with lower doses of nootropics. And check it out. Here's me, nine years in. You know, people look up to me about nootropics. You know, you folks listen to my content. I've been putting it out for years. I've been trying to steer people in the right direction. And I, of all people out here that are, are that's a, a super proponent for nootropics, you know, would suggest them to everybody to include 90 year old people or are having issues with brain fog and whatever, you know, and, and, and it is not cool to me to have excessive quantities of nootropics in the mix, right? So, so it should not be uncool to you to do lower doses. I know there's a little bit of like, uh, you know, there's a draw, like folks think about like, wow, it's cool. I want to take a bunch of oxyracetam and a bunch of everything, a bunch of new pep, but high dose and everything. Yeah. I want to bring on some PRL 853 and bring all this stuff in. Yeah. Rock on, <laughs> right? Like a bro, like a CrossFitter or something. It's like, dude, it's excessive. It's too much. And it, it, it isn't cool. But most importantly, don't feel uncool because you're going lower doses. Lower doses on especially the synergistic additional components aside from the base of the stack, that's the optimal way to go. That is truly the way to put together a perfect nootropic stack. Now, lastly, lastly, major point, sustainability. Sustainability is an important point, right? If you want to be able to take nootropics for a long time, I run into this all the time, folks. Go, I took modafinil for seven months straight. Now it doesn't. Now, now I'm indifferent to it, 
or I have a negative response to it. What can I do? How long? I cycled off for three weeks, didn't change. Yeah, well, hey, partner, you're going to have to cycle off for a year, two years now. Okay, it's the same as making changes to GABA receptors, I believe, from some of the hardcore uh, pharmaceutical drugs that are anti anxiety, anti psychotic, et cetera. And that it's going to take you two, three years, right, to start making your receptor sites and the whole GABAergic system, as an example, to work well again, to have them working normally again. It's taking you a long time. Right, so if you if you consistently take a certain nootropic compound and you never cycle, this is where you run into sustainability problems. And then you're going to have to cycle off for a year or two years, or not take nootropics at all for three years or four years or five years, and then come back to them once your brain comes back to normal. Because guess what, these things are making changes to your brain, for better or for worse. And the way to take advantage of you know them working great for you is to is to follow this strategy, right? Of sort of you know regular dosing a base and then lower dosing, medium dosing everything else. Cycling appropriately, which is a whole separate podcast. You know, we, 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 we do some really great in-depth information about cycling in the Smarter, Better, Faster Digital Guide, uh, which is downloadable and digital. You can get it at livecortex.com right now. 20% off Smarter, Better, Faster is along with our other guides. But sustainability really is key and king, okay? Again, you don't want to end up like that person that takes, you know, aniracetam or drafinil or oxiracetam or whatever, you know, for a year and a half straight thinking that's the way to go and then you can't take it anymore. Because it gives your brain fog, and you know you don't feel it, you don't notice it. It causes some weird side effect. It, it, it lowers your blood sugar. It does something weird, right? Which is pretty common enough when people don't cycle, when people don't think about nootropics in the realm of sustainability. Just try to picture if you're getting benefits from nootropics now, and you want to use these things for a while. Like, aren't you going to want to use them in five years? Good. Well, the only way you're going to be able to use them in five years, you know, is if you take them. You know, if you're is if you're able to take them sustainably using these principles okay so that is how you think about you know in the beginning when we broke down that stack that is the methodology right that is that's the methodology i just gave it to you right there on formulating a perfect nootropic stack if you want more stacks like that and you want to see it in person see it in writing see it live get any of our digital guides the new pep pro stack list all about new pep many stacks all these new pep stacks encompass this strategy. The Racetam God Guide, that's another digital downloadable guide. You can download it for your iPad, Kindle, all these are downloadable on any mobile device you have, even a PDF, read it on your Mac, read it on your PC, whatever you want to do. 80 stacks, 80 Racetam stacks in the Racetam God Guide. The nootropic stack for the business professional, those are tailored for business productivity, but they apply the same methodology. Smarter, Better, Faster, of course, which is the guide that you should get if you're new to nootropics, teaches you everything, gives you very many much information on cycling, gives you very many stacks. The Beginner's Guide to Adoracetam gives you 25 Adoracetam stacks, how to cycle off of Adoracetam, what to cycle on when you're cycling off of Adoracetam, what Adoracetam stacks with perfectly, right? But it uses this methodology. Get all of our digital guides, one of our digital guides, as many as you can, because they lay out all of this Great stuff. Thanks so much for listening. I hope that's been useful. Check us out on the web at livecortex.com at livecortex.com slash blog. We've got a stack. It's called Cortex Powerful Premade Stack. Guys, right now, Cortex, the mighty, strong, well put together, balanced, but extremely stimulatory Cortex Nootropic Stack is 27 bucks right now. Get it at livecortex.com. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the podcast if you haven't. Hey, write us a review. I hated it. If you hated it, I hated it. This guy talks too much. If you loved it, I loved it. Guys also gives us a lot of great information. Please review it on iTunes uh, and uh, check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash cortex stacks. Thanks for watching. I mean, thanks for listening. <laughs> All right, rock on.